Summer CC's Texas Garden. Guys, today is plant everything that's, um, well, not everything. The majority of everything that was in the hydroponics is coming outside. Only things left in the hydroponics is my herb challenge um, herbs because I need them to catch up. But when they get big enough, they're going to graduate outside as well. So I have everything that was in hydroponics besides my herbs. I'm going to take them out here and I am going to put them in their own little um, containers in the ground, different places. We got orange ground cherries. We have leaf of life plant. We have microtinas and borges and um, thyme and goji berries and yeah. So uh, we're gonna take this all out to, it's very saturated still, still wet and saturated out here. But I'm going to pot these up or put them into containers. Some things are already, uh, some things I'm just going to add to containers because they already have like one. So I'm just going to add another one to it. Um, yeah, I got some kitchen sage. Yeah, I'm going to plan it out because um, it'll grow better in the ground, I think. So. I got my potting soil. I got some containers that I'm going to put some things in containers. And other things are going straight into the ground. Yeah. So, um, I don't know what I want to start off with first. But I do need to have a shovel. Mm -hmm. I already made my labels, which is a good thing. I always make your labels. I'm trying to be good this year, y'all, with having my stuff with labels. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it's gonna do good for a while. Now this leaf of life plant, man, let me show y'all this. Amazing, looking beautiful. You can use this for all kind of things. Google it, y'all, research it. She's gorgeous. She wasn't this big when I got her, but look at her now. Look at that. She even getting some little babies down there at the bottom. All these little areas right here. Each one of these leaves, y'all, can start a new plant. That's how amazing this thing is. And so, as you can see, it's trying to shoot out little roots out from each little section. Like, put me in, put me in. So, um, I'm not going to put it in the ground. I'm not going to put this girl in the ground. I'm going to put her in a container and uh, to keep her safe. Because if this weather starts tripping, uh, I don't want her out here trying to survive, right? Um, but everything else, I got, like I said, I got goji berries. Let me show y'all. Let me put this little leaf of life. Um, let me see my bigger goji berry. This is goji berry scarlet which they have goji berry black and go other colors or whatever, but this is the goji berry scarlet. And I grew this from seed, so I'm proud of that. And my little cumin here is looking cute and it has little flowers. I don't know if cumin's supposed to have flowers yet or whatever, because I've never, grown cumin before if you have let me know in the comments but I've never grown it and uh but I love it uh, it's a great seasoning that you use in most Mexican dishes so I want to see what other things I can use it for um my microtina right here look at look at the roots on this girl Look at this. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to get it out of this plastic container here. <laughs> without ripping so many of her roots. Because she has flowers all on the top of her. She's like, I am ready to have some little tomatoes. So, probably take these lower leaves off of here. And uh, plant her in a container as well. But that is what's going on. Oh, let me show you my orange thyme. 
Look at that. Look at my little orange time. It's little. I have a bigger one. So I have two. I'm going to put them in a container together. But yeah, look at that. It's already trying to run. I'm going to take it out of this little plastic here. But what I'm going to do, um, like I said, I have the hydroponic with the herbs in there. But I am going to, one of the other hydroponics, I don't know if the 21, I may use the one at the 21 sale because my roselle is not looking the best that i want it to look so i'm gonna plant some roselle i'll show you all what i'm gonna plant in there but roselle is definitely one of the things that i need to kick start to get it going i think some peppers and some tomatoes uh, would be good to kick start as well i have some tomatoes and i have some peppers but you know succession planting is good as well i also need to plant some okra some drop some more seeds of okra but i just want to show you this uh what i'm bringing out here what i'm going to be working on this weather y'all well it was dark right here the clouds then went <laughs> it was dark clouds right over there and now it has i don't know where it went to it, it went over it went over nice nice okay that gives me more time out here this is my um I was getting one little root. <laughs> this is my celery from the store. And, um, yeah, it'll grow a little celery out the top of that. All right. No more talking. Let me get to work. I will show you kind of if I remember where everything is. I am going to pot this up and I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys. I have the stuff all planted out. I have my world's smallest tomato in this five gallon bucket because it's going to get really tall, but it'll have little small tomatoes. I have my purple tomatillos in here with tomato cage because it will get taller and it's going to need some containment. I have my goji berries into this container. I know it probably needed to be in a bigger one, but until they get bigger, I'm going to leave them in here. I also have my orange thyme in there with it. Mike Rotina is in his own container. The ground cherry um, is by itself. The leaf of life is in this one. The rest of the things are either in a raised bed or I put it straight into the ground. And uh, yeah, I got it done. Now I need to go in and plant um, some new stuff, not plant it. Put it in hydroponics, um, some roselle, some things that I really, really want to grow. I'm gonna go ahead and and um, start up another hydroponic unit of the things that seem like it's not really growing quick enough outside. So I'm gonna give it some attention inside with um, adjusting the lights and everything like that. So, all right guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, seeing what I have planted out. I didn't show you me planting it, but you get the gist of it If you haven't subscribed to CC's Texas garden, please do Would love for you to be a part of this garden community Hit me with a like and I'll see you next time